Hi everyone, this is Dave, and what I've got here is my LG G5 and an Invisible Defender ID glass screen protector from Rink. Now, I strongly believe in using some sort of screen protection on your smart devices, especially smartphones. I see a lot of people with cracked screens or scratched screens, and it's much, much cheaper to buy something like this than send your smartphone into repair. So in this video, I'm going to install the screen protector and give you my opinion. So let's just pop the smartphone to one side. We'll take a look at what we get inside the pack. So here it says we've got 0.18 millimeter thickness. It says it's 2.5D, so that's optimal comfort and ergonomic finish, so slightly curved at the edges of the glass. 9H hardness, maximum resolution, perfect touch precision, and an anti-chip with external force absorption. Sounds very good indeed. So let's have a look inside the pack and see what we get. So, plenty of goodies inside here. We have got some information here, and this just tells you about the screen protector itself. We've also got what looks like some instructions and some accessories. So inside this little plastic bag, we have got a screen cleaning wipe to get rid of all of the grease off of our screen. We've also got a tiny little applicator card for if we get any bubbles we need to remove. We've got a polishing cloth. We've also got a piece of sort of sticky back plastic, and this allows us to remove dust particles. Then we've also got some information about how to actually install alignment and how to place it onto the screen. Very, very good indeed. And this is the Rink website here, but I will actually leave a link to where you can pick this up for yourself in the video description. And then of course inside this little wrapper here, nicely protected, is the very, very thin piece of glass. This is the screen protector itself. So we'll just pop that down to one side and we're going to prepare the LG G5. So I have already got a screen protector on here, but this is one of those thin film sort of plastic screen protectors. So I'm going to actually remove that. I'm gonna just use, oh, this is strips. I thought this was all one sheet. So I'm gonna just use one of these just to lift that up and remove it from the device. We no longer need that. Now I'm gonna give a little quick wipe to the device. I'm not gonna use this wipe purely because I've had a screen protector on here from you. So what I'm gonna do is just give that a wipe over just at the edges, just to remove any dust that's accumulated on those edges whilst it's been in use. So now that's nice and clean, we can obviously see some dust particles on here, and this is where the sticker comes into play. So we're just gonna place the sticker on, and I normally do this all over. Let me just actually sleep that again. It's gonna keep waking up while I'm doing this, I just know it. We'll just go over most of the screen, just where I can see dust particles. Now, because we've got a slightly curved design to the LG G5, this screen protector only covers up the active screen area. It does go a little bit below, a little bit above, but for the most part, it will not go up to this edge here because that's curved. So that's clean. And we're going to just now position this over the screen. We're gonna remove the protector first of all, and then we're just gonna position this over the screen. We're gonna go right down to the bottom edge but not up very high, because we don't want to go over that curve. That'll probably stop it from adhering properly. I'm happy with that alignment, so just lowering it very, very gradually. And once it touches the screen, you should see it to start adhering to the screen as well. There we go. Now you can see it actually adhering. And all of the air is escaping. We've obviously got a bubble there, which is a little bit of a shame. And then this is where this little soft piece of plastic comes into play. So we can just go on the edges just here. We've also got another area just here, so we're just easing uh, these bubbles out. We've got another bubble just there to ease out, and then this large one, this screen is gonna keep coming on. So this large one's gonna need a little bit more help. It's not gonna come out very easily, that one. But you can see we haven't hit the curve, which is good. And we've just got that one last bubble, which will dissipate in time, but we're gonna actually lift this up and just see if we can help that one escape. That's not gonna be strong enough, so we're just gonna lift it up with our fingernail, 
just very, very carefully. You don't want to bend this too much, otherwise it'll crack. Just until it hits that bubble. There we go. We just go slightly past the bubble. And then as we lower it down this time, we just help that air escape to the edges. Very, very good indeed. That is it. That is it installed. It looks really good. I'm very, very pleased with that. Tiny little bit of an air bubble down the bottom corner here, but that will go with time. But for the most part, the clarity is very, very good indeed. I'm really pleased with that. The clarity is good. No difference in the sensitivity to the touch. Very, very thin, as you saw before it went onto the smartphone. This is a really good choice. This is the Invisible Defender glass screen protector from Rink. Really pleased with that. It looks good. These little tiny air bits here is just gonna adhere over the next sort of 24 hours. They should disappear. But I'm really pleased overall with that application. Well worth checking out. I'll leave a link to this product in the video description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. As always, please do hit like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in another video very soon.